Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do another one of these uh, calculating deviation problems. But uh, unlike the first one, you know, the first one was on a compass heading, a magnetic compass heading, we're going to do it for PGC, okay? So, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start off with our get TV MDC. Okay, and if I'm going towards the compass, I'm going to add west, subtract east. And, uh, you know, so if I'm going towards a compass, I'm going to add west, subtract east. And if I'm going towards true, I'm going to add east and subtract west. Okay, so if I'm going from a compass to true, a compass to true, I'll add east, subtract west. So I'm given a gyro heading of 039. So in order to find my brackets, what I got to do here, and these are, this is, this is, a, this is a pair, this is a pair, and I'm going to find a bracket that surrounds the 039. So gyro heading is PGC. So now I got to start sliding down here until I find where 039 is going to be bracketed by. Okay, it looks to me like it's going to get bracketed by right here. Okay, 039 is between 24 and 54. Okay, so now. What I'm going to do here, the 039 goes over here, okay? If I was doing a magnetic heading, if they gave me PSC, uh, th that, that number would go over here. But because they gave me a gyro heading, it goes over here. So this is 039. And then, uh, let's see here, the PGC. So this is the first pair, this is the second pair. I'm always going to put the top pair on the top and the bottom pair on the bottom. So this is 24, so that's 024. And uh, 0, 030.5 0 .5 goes over here, 0, 030.5, 0 .5, right, because that's PSC. And then 0, 054, 0, 054, and uh, the PSC is 0, 061.5, 0, 061.5. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to populate uh, the rest of my table here. So my variation, my, my gyro error was 2 west, so I'm going to put 2 west here, 2 west here. And my deviation, my variation, excuse me, is 8 west. 8 west, 8 west. So now what I got to do is I got to calculate the de deviation for these two and for these two given this information. So 2 west, 24, I'm going towards true. So if I have west, I subtract it, so that becomes 0, 2, 2. So 0, 5, 4, it's west, I'm going towards true, I'm going to subtract west, so that becomes 0, 5, 2. Now I'm on the other side of true, and I'm headed towards a compass. So that rule is plus west, so that becomes 0, 5, 0, and this becomes, uh, oh, excuse me, oh, oh. <laughs> that becomes 0, 3, 0. So the plus 8 is 0, 3, 0, and 52 plus 8 is 0, 6, 0. Okay, great. So now, what's the next thing? Let me calculate my deviation, all right? So 30 to 30.5, the difference is 0 0.5. Now, what did I do? I added the 0.5. To go from 30 to 30.5, I had to add. Add is west, so it's west. And 60 to 61.5, that's 1.5. And I went from 61.5, I had to add the 1.5, that's west. Okay, great. Now I'm going to set up my proportion, okay? So... You know, on the previous problem, uh, we had done a PSC, and we set our proportions up on this side, okay, uh, because, uh, you know, we were looking for a, a magnetic compass heading between these two. But now, we're, we're given this 0, 3, 9, so I'm going to set my proportion up over here, okay? So A is going to be, okay, A is going to be between the top number, 24, and 0, 3, 9, what I'm looking for, and that's going to be A. And B is going to be from 24 to 54. But C is going to be exactly the same. Uh, it's going to be the difference between the two deviations, just like it was in the previous problem. So what's my formula going to be? It's going to be deviation plus or minus A over B times C. Okay? And, of course, by the rules of PEMDAS, uh, that's got to be uh, that. Okay? Uh, i got to do these first before that. So let me calculate the values of A now. A. B, C. So A is 39 minus 24. 39 minus 24, okay, and uh, that's going to be 15. All right, B is going to be 54 minus 24, and that's 30. All right, and then uh, C is going to be 1.5 west minus 0.5 west, okay, and that's going to be uh, uh, 1.0. Okay, great. Now, 
I'm going to substitute these values in for A, B, and C. Where am I going to get my deviation from? Okay, so this deviation is either going to be, uh, uh, now, so deviation, it's either going to be 0.5 or 1.5. So which one? Uh, based on this proportion, I have to choose, uh, only one of these is going to be correct. A was the difference between 39 and 24. Because I chose 24, I have to choose the deviation that goes with 24. If for A I had done my uh, the difference between these two, then I would choose this one. But anyway, um, if you're using my system here, you'll always take it off of the top deviation. So it's going to be 0 0.5. Now, are we going to add or subtract it? Well, uh, my number is going to be between these two. So uh, if I'm going to reference it off of 0 0.5, well, it's going to have to be more because this is 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1, 1 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. So I'm going to be adding it. So I'm going to add. Now I'm going to count the number I'm going to add by doing this proportion. So that's 15 divided by 30 times 1. And before we even do this math, let's see if we can eyeball this. 24 times 54. So the difference between these two is 30. And 24 to 39, that's about 15. So, and that's about 50. Yeah, so 39 is halfway between these two. So I would expect that my deviation is going to be halfway between these two. Well, halfway, the difference between those is 1. So I think it should be uh, 0.5. I think it, uh, so I think I'm going to, uh, uh, it's going to be, ha oh, it's going to be 1.0. I'm expecting my deviation to be about 1.0. But I'm going to calculate that based on this. So. 15 divided by 30 is 0.5 times 1 is 0.5. So I get 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, and that was 0 0.5 west, means 1.0 west. And that's what we did by eyeball, and that was the answer as well.